at the rate NCERT video book welcomes you. Today we are going to start chapter 9. Which season is it? Let us start. Which season is it? Seasons. Five seasons in a year. Spring begins with a cheer. Flowers bloom. The birds sing. When comes the merry spring? Summer comes with the shining sun and a long day for children to play. Rainy season comes with the water drops, peacock dances and the frog hops. Leaves fall on the ground, pleasant winds on the way is when it is an autumn day. Winter is when I am all in snow from head to toe. Let's read the poem once again. Seasons Five seasons in a year. Spring begins with a cheer. Flowers bloom. The birds sing. When comes the merry spring. Summer comes when the signing sun. Summer comes with the shining sun and a long day for children to play. Rainy season comes with the water drops, peacock dances and the frog hops. Leaves fall on the ground, pleasant winds on the way is when it is an autumn day. Winter is when I am all in snow from head to toe. Let us discuss. A. In which season do you go on a vacation? B. Your birthday fall in which season of the year? C. Which is your favorite season and why? D. What is special about your favorite season? Read the poem aloud and enact. Discuss the special things that they do in different seasons different seasons also talk about the various locally available food and cloths for example ferans feran in kashmir etc also discuss how the local vacations in season affect the daily lives of people this is a note to the teacher the answer will be a which season do you go do you go on a vacation that is in summer and winter season b your birthday fall in which season you this will depend upon your birth date c which is your favorite season your favorite season could be summer winter or spring or autumn you have to write as per your choice d what is special about your favorite season you have to write by your own Match the seasons with their names and festival. This is spring season. This is autumn season. This is winter season. This is rainy season. Or monsoon season. This is summer season. During autumn season, you see festivals like the Sahara, Sarat Purnima, and the Pauli. During summer season, you see Guru Purnima, Buddh Purnima, Ram Nomi, Mahavir Jayanti. During spring season, you see Kudi Padwa, Shivratri, Baisakhi, Holi. During winter season, you see Lohri, Christmas, Republic Day, Guru Nanak Jayanti, and Bihu. During monsoon season, uh, you celebrate Janmashtami, Raksha Bandhan, and Independence Day. Note to the teacher, discuss the names of the season in Hindi such as Basant, Sisir, etc. And in other regional languages as well. Tell them about other festivals like Eid which, is, which are not seasonal. You have to know that Eid, Eid depends on the moon not the season so these are not it is not a seasonal festival 
calendar fun this is a calendar of 2023 you have to note that the year that is divisible by 4 has is leap year for example 2000 2004 2008 2012 2016 2020 2024 2028 2020 32 2036 these years which are divisible by 4 the last two digital two digit divisible by 4 is known as leap year okay that means uh, the February month will have 29 days okay you have to remember the leap years leap years February month has 29 days but it is of uh, but rest years for example 2001 2002 2003 or 2015, 13, 2014, 2015. These are non-leap years. That means they will have 29 days in February. 2021, 2022, 2023, 2025, 2026, 2027. These will have 28 days in February. This thing must be remembered. This is a, a calendar of January, the uh, okay, month of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Okay. Look at the calendar and fill the table. Month, January, March, May, July, August, October, December. Number of days. Let's see. January 31, March 31. May 31, July 31, August 31, and October and December 31. So, number of days in this month is 31. February of 2023 has 28 days. You have seen it earlier, 28 days. And April, June, September, and November, that is April, June, September and November has 30 days. Let us talk A. Why do we use a calendar to compare past, present and future? B. Does February have the same number of days in every year? Discuss. No. February doesn't have the same number of days in e every year. I have discussed it. How many days are there in a week? That is 7 days. D. In the calendar given on the previous page, how many Sundays are there in the month of April? Okay, let's see. The month of April, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 Sundays are there in the month of April. E. Which month have 5 Sundays? Then you have to see it carefully. January, April, July, October, and December. You can write it here. January, April, July, October, and December. F. Summer vacation are in the month of May and June. Winter vacation are in the month of December and January. H. Find the total number of days in April and March. Actually, we know that April has 31. Okay, April has 30 days and March has 31 days. Then you have to add 30 and 31. April has 30 days, March has 31. If you add these two 30 and 31 that is 30 and 31 the total number of days will be 61 project work make your own calendar of your birthday month and make mark your birthday in it discuss the importance of calendar in our day-to-day -day life this is a note to the teacher how long does it take 
match the activity with the duration of time it requires to get completed. Cooking, it takes hours. Summer vacations, no, takes month. Knitting a sweater, takes days. Filling a tank, takes hours. Playing, takes hours. Uh, seed to grow into a plant, takes few days. Change of season, few months. Doing yoga, few hours. Okay. You could match it like this. Note to the teacher, discuss the other things that take different duration of time to complete. You may uh, discuss about time taken by other activities while doing other activities. Okay. Few activities are given here. Trip to Vijaywada. Date 24th November time 28-25 morning. Hurry, the train is about to leave. Date 24th November only. Time 1 uh, o'clock 15 minutes afternoon. Girl, this girl asks, Is it 1, uh, 1 o'clock 15 minutes afternoon? Dadaji, how much time more? How much more time? Will it take to reach Nani's house? Dadaji answers. Just I one more hour to reach Vijayawada railway station. Actually, they are going to Vijayawada. Date 25, 5th number night, 10 o'clock night time, 10 o'clock night. Girl asks. Ma, we enjoyed a lot today and look at Mamaji, he is looking very handsome. Yes, dear, Mama says, yes, dear, it is his wedding after all. God bless you, dear, Dadaji says to Mamaji. Date 26 November time 8 o'clock in the morning. Ma, our train is day after tomorrow. Can we go for sightseeing? Mama says yes. Mother says yes, we will go to Mangalgiri Hills at 11 morning. Date 26 November time 5 in the evening. Girl says. See Dadi, how beautiful these trees and plants are. There are so many beautiful flowers also. Dadaji says, children, it is 5 o'clock in evening. We will be late. Let us go back. Next day, that is 27th number, 9 o'clock in the morning. We will come back after 8 hours. The family decided to go to Konda. Wally Port by bus at 9 in the morning. The person there the, the person there says, Okay, sir, you visit the port. I will come after 8 hours to pick you all. Have a nice trip. On next day, that is on 28th November time, 7 in the evening, the boy says, Oh, Papa, our trip ended and now we have to go back to our home. But I am excited to travel back by the fastest train in India called Bande Bharat. Yes, wow, this girl says wow. Date 28th November time 11.30 night. Boy says, Mommy, I can't wait to tell my friends about this exciting trip. Mama says, Mother says, yes. We will make such a trip again very soon. We will make such a trip again very soon. Let us talk a why did the family plan a trip because it is uh, Mamaji wedding. Okay, Mamaji's wedding. To which place the uh, place did they go for the trip? That is Nani's house. That that is in Vijayawada. 
what did like what did you like about the trip you could write it here b on which day did they begin their journey when did they come back how long was their trip they begin their journey on 24th that is on 8 25 in the morning 24th number and the journey ended on 28th at 11.30 in night. Okay. About 4 days. Uh, see which place did they visit their trip. Okay. It was actually 5 days. That is on 24, 25, 26. 27 and 28 okay five days which place did you visit uh, did they visit in the trip they visited mangalgiri kondapalli and uh, other places too which place did they visit in their trip they visited first they visited vijayawada then there they visited uh, mangalgiri hills and kondapalli fort d how long was their day trip in mangalgiri hills they started mangalgiri hills trip about 11 in the in day okay you can see it here okay 11 in the morning and they came back at 5 in the evening that is about six hours and Kundapalli port for 8 hours as they said to the uh, visiting person or the coolie there. When did they came back from there? They started the journey at for Kundapalli port, Kundavali port at 7 in the sorry at 9 in the morning and 9 to 6, 6 9 to 3 o'clock that is 6 hours then 6 uh, then 2 hours more that is 5 o'clock then 9 to 5 that is they came back at 5 o'clock in evening e for how many hours uh, were they in the train when going from Visakhapatnam to Vijayawada, they started their journey at 8.25 and reached at 2.15, about 6 hours, okay. You can see here, they started their journey at 8.25 and one it will take 1 hour more than 1.15 to reach Vijayawada. So about 6 hours to Vijayawada to Visakhapatnam they started their journey in Vande Bharat about 7 in the evening and reached at uh, Visakhapatnam 11.30 that is around 5 hours ok 7 in the evening and 11.30 in night that is about 5 hours that is 4 and a half you can write approximately 5 hours which among the two journey took longer the first journey going to Vijayawada from Visakhapatnam took longer time but returning takes uh, less time because of the fastest train Vande Bharat have, have you been on a trip recently what do you enjoy most about trips amazing fact do you know Vande Bharat is the fastest train in India. The train is designed in India only and is also India's first train to have an integrated engine and not a separate engine coach. Talk with children. This is a note to the teacher. Talk to with children about their travel experience to familiarize them with the idea of duration in terms of days and hours also discuss 
what is special about their cities here a heading is given gargi's day let us see what gargi does in a day write down the time for each picture gargi wakes up at 6 o'clock in the morning draws water 7 o'clock goes to school at 8 o'clock and studies there at 10 o'clock comes back home at 1 o'clock takes lunch at 2 o'clock and plays with friends at 4 o'clock then goes to sleep at 9 o'clock okay you have to remember that uh, there are two hands that is shorter and longer hand in a clock shorter hand signifies our hand okay shorter needle signifies our hand and uh, the longer one signifies for minute it stands for minute let us talk look at the position of the short hand that is our hand and long hand minute hand and observe at what time gargi does these activities in a day a at what time does he wake up that is six o'clock b when does he go to school she goes to school at eight o'clock c at what time does he have her lunch at two o'clock you can match your answer after studying these he go, wakes up at six goes to school at eight o'clock and takes lunch at two o'clock let us do a read the time on the clock that is six o'clock here three o'clock here nine o'clock here and twelve o'clock here kindly note the minute and hour hand shorter is hour hand longer is minute hand b draw our hand and minute hand on the clock three o'clock like this eleven o'clock like this four o'clock like this nine o'clock like this twelve o'clock six o'clock See when do you do the activities shown below. Mark them on the clock by drawing the hour hand and the minute hand. A study. You have to uh, mark the hour and minute hand as per your study time. For example, you study at 7 o'clock in the evening. You play at 5 o'clock in the evening. You take lunch at 2 o'clock in afternoon. You have to fill it by taking help of your teacher. How old are we? That is my age. For example, 7 years. My mother's age. Example, 35 years. My grandmother is 60 years. My sister's age, 9 years. Okay. Let us play knowing direction. Ask a child to volunteer from the class, blindfold him or her, give direction to the blindfolded child to move from one spot to another. For example, move from the last bench to the blackboard. For direction, use these words right, left, straight. Okay. The game will go on for 5 to 7 rounds with a different volunteer for with, with different children volunteering themselves ask the children to decide a safe word like danger when one is about to get hit by objects in the classroom to increase the difficulty level you may change the setting of the classroom or keep harmless hurdles on the way this was a note to the teacher uh, this should be done under the supervision of a teacher sarah's way to school green lines is the path taken by sara to reach the school now draw a line with different colors to take astha and nia from their home to the school okay sara home is here sara reach using this green line to uh, reach school similarly you have to 
make a sign near this the school using different colors for example Nia goes like to this to school and Asa goes like this to school okay discuss the use of mobile apps for navigation that is for locating different places this is a note to the teacher here a song is there east west north or south let us stand to face the rising sun this is the east direction let us stand to face the rising sun this is the east direction okay this is the east this is the east rising sun signifies east to your back you will find the west direction to your back you will find the west direction okay put your thumb put your left thumb out and that is north put your left thumb out that is the north this one is north on your right is the direction south on your right that is in this right hand direction the direction is south okay signified by s so when we step out and move about we know which direction to go east west north or south let's read the poem once again let us let us stand to face the rising sun this is the east direction to your back you will find the west direction put your left thumb out and that is the north on your right is the direction south so when we step out and move about we know which direction to go east west north or south sing the poem with accents help children to identify the direction the direction must be emphasized by the teacher and the and examples should be given to the children uh, from their immediate surrounding so that they understand the special relevance of these words this is a note to the teacher let us do look at the classroom below and answer the questions by using the words north south east and west refer to the compass do you know a compass is a tool for finding direction the red needle signifies the north direction blue one south similarly you can find east and west the east is in the right side and west is in the north side west is in the left side sorry west is in the left side this is a compass okay the red uh, red needle signifies north direction a harneet's desk is to the dash of sara's desk harneet's desk is to the east of sara's desk b almari is dash to the ali's desk almari is uh, on the west to the ali desk west to the ali's desk see the direction the to reach the blackboard mira must walk toward dash and then dash to reach the blackboard mira must walk in the north then east north and east and then east similarly d to feed the birds on the window nitin has to walk dash and then dash nitin is here nitin has to walk uh, south then west southwest to reach the window south and then west note to the teacher discuss the compass and its uses also ask children to use compass to find out directions of objects from different points of references for more videos you can subscribe and see ert video book thank you